Hi, the Smoking Elk here, and today we're cooking up a bit of a mixed kebab on the new Turos T2 grill. In front of me here is the new Turos T2 grill. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know I'm a massive fan of the T1 tabletop grill. Nice little portable grill that you can just sit in front of you on your table, cook some skewers, cook some food, whatever it is you're cooking, enjoy your glass of wine or beer, whatever takes your fancy, and just enjoy the evening while you're cooking. Now this is the T2, it's the bigger bubble of the T1, 50% more cooking space to be exact. You might not think it just to look at it, but this thing is big, I mean it can hold plenty of food, it can hold eight skewers, and I'm told there's quite a few different accessories and attachments going to be made available for this, including the rotisserie. But what we're going to concentrate on today, my favourite way of cooking when sat down like this, is the skewer attachment. Now this on the T1 holds six skewers, on the T2 we've got room for eight skewers, so plenty of room to cook. So we're going to try and fill this grill today by cooking up a selection of chicken skewers, lamb skewers and some padron peppers. So all we do is whip this out, you can see quite a big grill space there, pop the skewer attachment in there like that and then you'll see here that I've got some skewers ready to go. Like I said, this is for kind of just sitting around in the evening. You know me, I like a glass of beer. So I've already prepped the food. So I've got my skewers already done. So I've got some, got some chicken skewers here and you'll find the recipes in the description below. But I've got some chicken skewers. I've got some lamb skewers. Now these have got a mix of lamb leg and lamb belly. Belly helps to keep them moist. The chicken is thigh, because the chicken thigh has got a bit more fat in it. Don't use breast, because breast tends to dry out when cooking this way. I've also got some padron peppers as well. So we're going to try and fill this grill with the skewers, sit back and enjoy a beer. So let's just crack on and cook some food. And there we are, job done. I've sat here, I've had a couple of beers, I've cooked my dinner, not even had to move. And what I've got here is my mitz kebab. You've seen I've put a couple of flatbreads on top of the meat just to get those nice and warm. So they're on there. The meat is gonna soak into those flatbreads. While you're sat here, you might as well get a few more flatbreads on the go. If you've got people around to share, a few more flatbreads. Obviously, if you wanna grill some veggies, some peppers, onions, mushrooms, that kind of stuff. I went with some padron peppers as a little starter. Absolutely lovely. So we've got a mixed grill here, flatbreads, finish it off with some chilies, with some parsley, whatever you desire. I'll put some chili sauce and some mayo on there and I can't wait to dig in. So I hope you give this a go. I hope you are happy with my little overview of the T2 grill. A delightful little grill. I love the T1, so it's inevitable that I'm gonna love the T2. So much more room on there. It's been a lovely way to cook. I poured myself another beer, so I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna enjoy these kebabs. Happy days. On a smoking elk, I'll see you again soon. Mmm.